Hello friends, uh, some time back I wrote two articles, uh, one was where I explained that Java is passed by value and not passed by reference and then another article where I explained about the Java heap memory, stack memory and what are the differences between them. So uh, I got a lot of comments and uh, even uh, I saw that you know still uh, so many guys are confused with this concept that whether Java is passed by value and how it is not passed by reference and uh, how uh, objects and reference are stored in heap and stack memory so I thought uh, you know I will create a video tutorial where I can explain these things with a simple program so uh, so this is the program that we have it's a simple test class which has a main method some couple of methods the swap method that I used in the uh, the program in the program in java pass by value article and then uh, in the heap and stack memory differences i have this image which actually shows how the data is stored in heap memory and stack memory so now let's go through this program and see how it works out in uh, terms of memory as in where the data is stored so as soon as you will run this program so what will happen is that based on your JVM settings the heap memory and stack memory will be created so let's assume that this is the heap memory and, and then this is our stack memory so one thing we know that in stack memory only references and primitive data is stored and uh, the stack memory is not global what it means is that uh, one stack data cannot be accessed in another stack so let's see how it works out here okay so as soon as I will start this uh, program what will happen that in stack memory a stack area will be created for main method so this let's say this is the main method stack area and since in the first line I'm creating an integer and its value is 10 and then I'm creating two balloon variables uh, objects so first of all we will have a int i is equal to 10 here and then a reference variable red will be created which will be actually pointing to some object of type balloon in heap memory and then again another blue variable will be created and it will be referencing to some other object let's say blue okay now as soon as I am calling this swap method so what will happen in my stack memory another area will be created to store the data for swap method so and now since we know that uh, java is uh, passed by value so what will happen is that as you can see here the arguments are object o1 and o2 and we are passing the red and blue so actually we will have the reference will be copied so we will have o1 and then o2 O1 is pointing to red and O2 is pointing to blue. Now inside the method you have another reference variable created temp and then we have some swap methods like temp is pointing to O1 so it will be pointing to red then O2 O1 is pointing to O2 so it means that O1 is pointing to blue now and then O2 is pointing to temp so O2 is pointing to red now so what is happening that in the in this swap method we have all this reference changes now as soon as this method finishes what happens is that the swap memory swap stack memory is uh, freed so it, what it means is that this this section where we have this this area for swap memory 
it will be cleared out so let's say okay i'll remove all these things all these references and everything is gone so now the program will return to the main method and in main method we are printing the red color and blue color so as you can see that this main method references are still pointing the red variable is pointing to the red object and blue is pointing to the blue so accordingly we will get the output so this is how you know you uh, it works like when you create an object it always goes into heap memory and this stack memory contains only the references yeah then we have another method foo so what happens in foo is that as soon as you call this foo method again a stack memory is created foo for foo method and then it has just a single variable balloon and we are passing blue so balloon is actually pointing to this object then what we are doing is that we are creating a new object of type green and assigning it to blue balloon i'm so, sorry before that we are setting we are calling this set color red so what will happen that as soon as we use this dot operator to call some method on this object so this value of this object will change so what it means is that now rather than having blue the value will be color will be red so after that we are creating a new object whose color is green and we are assigning it to balloon so now what is happening is that this reference it changed from red this object to this object and then we are setting its color to blue so again this value it will be changed to blue and then the method finishes so now as soon as the method is finished this foo area is freed this balloon reference is gone and now since this third object it does not have any you know references so it will be available for gc now in the main method we are uh, we are printing this blue dot color so basically this blue is still pointing to this one and now its value is red so that's why as you can see here the output is red so this is how the you know uh, stack memory and heap memory is uh, uh, created and uh, whenever we create any object whether a string or any kind of object it always goes into heap memory and the stack memory contains the reference and since uh, the stack memories are separate i mean uh, two stack memories can't reference the data from each other so that's why java has to be uh, passed by value it can't be passed by reference otherwise if it would have been passed by reference so what it could it should be like this like if you have this foo method it should be able to access this red reference so yeah so i think this makes it clear now so I'll, if you have any questions or any comments you can obviously ask in the comments